Actually, wait a minute. Do I have... Oh, I don't want to use the herbs yet. I'll use... Yeah, actually I will. Wait, no. Alright, because I don't want you guys at low health at all. Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, Oxfu. And as you'll see, these seem to have strange outlines around them, so let's push them. I don't know if... Oh, never mind, there's nothing here. Looks like we're just at a dead end. I can never remember which side it is, which side we have to go through, even though I've played this game countless times. There we go. That looks like a sus ah, I was gonna say a suspiciously useful looking uh, stairway. <laughs> um, ooh, now I can actually show you guys what I was talking about with the targeting system. Now you see how flare it has to the right of it, um, two short lines and a tall line. That means that, well, as you can see, it's got the two blips to the side that are smaller and the one big blip. That means that the middle of the target, it's going to target all three of the blinking enemies, but the middle one is going to take the most damage, and the two on the side are going to take a little bit less. Like, you'll see now. Like, 17, 23, and 17. It gets to be a lot more important as we go further in the game, because... Well, again, you'll see, because we're actually going to have a bunch of attacks that target five or seven enemies. I think it gets up to seven for a couple of attacks. I might be wrong on that. It might only go up to five, but it's a lot simpler just because... Actually, I don't know why, because they released Final Fantasy VI Advance on the Game Boy Advance, so there's no reason why this should be such a simple game. <laughs> I mean, the Game, Bo the Game Boy Advance obviously has the power to handle a very complicated RPG. And this is a very, very simple RPG. Like, it's almost... It's, this is like Baby's first RPG, if anything. Well, I mean, it is and it isn't, because some of the enemies do get really hard. Most, um, bump and most of our, con uh, our customization of the people, the peeps are going to be using different items or stuff stuff like that. It's not going to be... It's not going to be very customizable. That's all I'm trying to get at. I don't know. It, it's just because I've played this... This was another one of the games that I played as a kid, and I never really noticed the lack of complexity in it, because I didn't care. But now as I'm getting into more complicated RPGs... Um, especially, like, some of the Final Fantasy games, I'm just noticing some of the drawbacks to this game, just because I'm just used to more. I mean, I'm not saying this game is bad, this is a very fun game, and I hope you guys will see that as we go through it, um, because I, I really do love this game, um, even with all that I'm complaining about it get rid of you. There we go. Right. I do not want to use any more of my herbs, so I'm actually going to cure you guys using Isaac. So Isaac, you're just going to hang back and not use any magic for a little while. How's that sound to you? Sounds pretty good, boss. Good enough for me. Jeez, we're getting hit with a lot of enemies. I'm just going to run for right now because... Yes, yeah, screw him. <laughs> No real reason. Aha! That's what I wanted to get. I, n I really love the vermin. Like, I <laughs> I thought it was always just funny that they have them carrying a fork. <laughs> like, that w There's no reason why I think it's funny. It's just... Do you expect, like, a really, really fat, like, almost morbidly obese mouse to be carrying a fork with it. That's blue. The mouse is blue, not the fork. <laughs> I think it's just really funny. 
Um, I also love how everything has eyes in this game. A, a, a lot of things have eyes. It's kind of like Banjo Kazooie in that way. Like, look, the mushrooms have eyes. I don't know what we we. I, I'm trying to think of what we actually get to fight as far as inanimate objects go. I can't think of many, so I don't know if they have eyes or not. I can't think of any actually. It's just that you, you don't really think of an, a mushroom as being able to have eyes. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, good thing we grabbed that because otherwise we'd need it now. More statues. Hmm. It doesn't look like we can reach them from here. Huh. Perhaps syn uh, synergy is the key. Isaac, try to use your synergy. I keep wanting to say synergy. <laughs> like, promote synergy. Like a boss. <laughs> but I know that's wrong. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I keep hitting start to go into the menu, but that's not it. It's really weird that it's on... That... Um, to go into the menu is on it. Yeah, we want to use Garrett's energy right now because Isaac's kind of tapped out. So I always do this. And I always mean to not do it, but I always un un unveil this Minotaur left because I, I like to go through things from left to right. I don't know why, it's just the thing. I've always seen the Minotaur skull first. Aha! Okay, this looks like where we have to go, so I'm actually gonna... Hey! It's a maze! Which is funny, because we're in a maze! Her, her, her. No, I actually want to see what's in the other rooms before we go that way, because I don't know if that's the right way to go yet. How have you guys been, by the way? Since we've got kind of a lull in the action. I actually went back to school this this week. And let me tell you, it is going to be a fun and very stressful semester, because I have contemporary Irish literature, which, again, it was with my amazing Irish literature professor, who is also my advisor, who is amazing, and we were just going over, like, basic, hi basic history of... Um, Ireland and the role of culture in Ireland and how it's become almost a global, like the traditional culture has become almost a global mass produced commodity um, and part of that actually was I was able to um, convince the professor to let OX Girl Fu come in and for those of you that don't know, um, I know I mentioned this on Twitter a bunch, um, OX Girlfu is actually a musician. And she plays um, classically arranged Celtic, cha Celtic music. Um, she was trained, trained um, classic, with, for, with classic music, but her interest is with Celtic music. Um, she's probably gonna be on my case because I got it wrong, but I'm not I'm not a really a music person, so I'm just going based on what I remember her telling me. <laughs> um, but no, it was great because she actually was able to come in. I'll finish this after it afterwards. This is it! We found it! Clearly. Clearly. This is the mark of the sun, the heart of Soul Sanctum. It's just as I had imagined, which means those two are telling the truth. Uh, one second, I need a drink. But, I mean... <laughs> but if they, what they said was true... <laughs> but if what they said was true, then that means they must have been... They were thieves! They came to rob the Sanctum! Way to jump to conclusions. What are you... A person that jumps to conclusions? What are you, uh... Uh, 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 uh... Joey Wheeler? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's hurry back to the village and tell everybody. Uh... 
I can't do a Joey Wheeler voice. I'm not even going to try. Kraden, what's the matter? We were so close. So close. Close. Close to what? We've come all the way to the heart of Soul Sanctum. To turn our backs on it and leave. There's something wrong with that? Soul Sanctum holds the origins of alchemy. It would be a waste to... What do you think? Should we go a little farther? Will ya... Will ya... What is it? Will ya cater to an old man's fancies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, go on. Thank you. If you put it that way, we don't have much choice. I'm with Kraden. I want to look inside. <laughs> I love you all very appropriately. <laughs> really? We'll just go a bit for we'll just go a bit further then. Good. It's decided. Let's move ahead. Um, but anyway, she was able to come in and talk about how um ooh, I love how the light changes here. Like watch, 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 watch. Oh man, sepia tones. <laughs> What is this room? But no, she got to come in, um... Ah! Oh, there's a moon in the center. A picture of Luna. Where? I, I, oh, it's the moon. I thought it was... I thought it was Princess Luna. <laughs> no, no pony is in here. This must... This... This must symbolize night. I thought that said might for a second. This must symbolize night. These rooms must be connected somehow, don't you think? Nah, yeah, but I'll, 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 I'll... God, I can't think of the word. I'll... I'll amuse you. Luna and Sol. These rooms must hide some secret. What could it be? What does it all mean, Isaac? What does it all mean? Um... Would you look farther up the passage? Let me know what you find. Let me know what you find. I keep slipping back into it. God, I want Kraden to have a unique and interesting voice. God. But no, Oak's Girl Fu actually got to come in and talk with the class about how how it is to be um, a musician who plays um, in in a Celtic style, and how she has to be. Well, how she has to perform uniquely um, in order to, like, she has to play between genres, between Celtic and classical, in order to remain unique and not just be another part of, basically, a commercial fad. Hmm. Oh god, what did we do? Whoa, what's happening? Isaac must have found something. <laughs> no! No! Isaac, stop! Put it back! You're about to make a big mistake! Put it... Put it back! <laughs> Wait, Isaac! <laughs> you just killed another person's parents and set in motion another chain of events that's going to lead to Golden Sun all happening over again. What's wrong, Kraden? We just did as you asked. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> this is a most interesting mechanism you found, Isaac. But this is clearly some kind of trap. This is a trap? Go look in the Luna Room, and you'll understand. We don't have to go look in the Luna Room. We saw it from above. Jeez. You've done well. Finding... <laughs> Finding this means you're looking in the right place. But if you ju move, just move one statue, you'll be caught in the Sanctum's trap. But... But why would anyone put a trap here anyway? I don't know. To protect what secrets are hidden here? 
I don't know who did it, but they mu they've hidden something very important. You think Soul Sanctum's just here to look pretty? Jeez, Jenna. Perhaps they've hidden the key to alchemy itself. Yeah, they must have. Should I tell you more? <laughs> Should I spin you a yarn? Yeah. Hmm, honestly, I doubt you, you, you could understand it if I explain now. We must try to find a solution to this mystery. Wow, way to skirt around an explanation, Creighton. Sheesh, another mystery! Okay, gang, let's split up and look for clues. I'll keep checking the Lunar Room. You who con continue exploring the Sanctum. My intuition tells me... That light must be the key to the secret. We should test it. Isaac, let's see if we can't, can't figure this out ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what, you want to go over here... And you want to move these statues so that they're in the way. But no, um, that was really fun this week. You know, having OX Girl Fu come to my class and everything, because... It's awesome, and she got to talk with my professor, and hopefully she'll get some contacts and stuff. And get to play at conferences and stuff. I don't know. It's just really exciting. Um, and then I get to learn about medieval English literature, because I need to take another pre-1800 pre English literature course for my requirements. I really want to know how light opens up an, an, a... a a hole in the ground too. Something clicked. Hmm. Anyway, before we before we f fiddle around with these, I want to go downstairs just one second because I've never actually looked at what changes down here. Nothing. Okay. So that just disarms the trap. Yeah, I wasn't sure because, like I said, I've never actually gone down here between pushing that down and everything else. Anyway, now when we move these guys over here, there's going to be the thunder, but Whoa, what's happening? And now you'll see that it just changes and there's no lightning. You found it, Isaac. Craden I see you've see I've see you found an international an interdimensional warp hole that led to the disarming switch for the trap. Excellent work, Isaac. Where did that hole come from? I don't know either. <laughs> it's a mystery. When Isaac moved those two those statues, two beams of light shot out from them, and then this hole appeared on the floor. Makes sense to me. Cuz you're I don't know if you're stupid, Garrett. You never really swayed either way for me. And then Isaac dropped the statue into it after that. <laughs> good thing you didn't break a priceless antique, huh, Isaac? Hmm, good work, everyone. <laughs> this pillar must have taken thousands of years to carve. Look at how intricate it is. You might want to stand back. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Look, I made a bridge, and it took me, like, what, ten seconds? <laughs> so the statue puzzle was the trap. Ah, puzzling. <laughs> and that other statue was here to disarm the trap. Yeah, I've said that. And now that you've disarmed it, we should be alright. Yes, Creighton, keep up with us. I'll observe from the Lunar Room where it's safe. You do all the grunt work! <laughs> Um, but, yeah, no, I actually get to read some medieval literature. I mean, right now we've just been doing Gildas and Beads, so... Nothing really special, but... I, I, I need to take another pre-1800 survey class for my major, so whatever. And I get to take... In I finally get to take Introduction to Literary Studies. And for those of you that might have known, I read in my other survey class, Romantic... Um, British literature. I already read Frankenstein, and we analyzed it pretty deeply. And now I'm going to be spending an entire semester analyzing it. Look, Isaac, the picture of Luna changed the soul. Oh my god. 
Okay. <laughs> Princess Luna changed into Celestia. But other than that, nothing looks different. Well, let's look in the other room, old fool. That's strange. They went to the trouble of putting a trap here. And this is all that happens? Somewhere, something else must have changed. We must find it. Wow. You're really getting senile if you can't remember this room. And, you know, how we changed to sepia and everything. Uh, sepia? Sepia? Sepia. And everything. Look, the symbol on the floor changed from Sol to Luna. Surely, there must be something in this room. What? What's it pointing at? <gasps> oh my god, it's a portal! Aha! This has to be it. Let's go, Isaac. And because it's a portal made by Luna and Celestia, it must be a portal to Equestria! Ah! Wait for me, Isaac. I'm on my way. <laughs> um, I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Miyoxfu. And we will see what is beyond this portal. So I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. <laughs>